Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. This is Simpler Using Machine Learning Algorithms in R. And so we're now in Unit 8, Chapter 8, whatever you would like to call it. And we're in Lesson 2, Data Preparation for our Logistic Regression Model. That's what we're doing in this particular lesson. So having said that, why don't we go ahead and go over to our studio and see what we can do. So here is our data set right here, I mean our studio. And we're going to use the survey data set. And our goal here is that we want to predict the sex or the gender of an individual based on the different features or the different variables that are available in the survey uh, data set. And so to do this, we of course, we have to use our run our libraries. And I believe the survey data set is from the library uh, package. I'm sorry, from the mass package. And so we do that. And then we load our data set using the data um, function. And then we're going to take a quick peek at it, at what the what are the different features or variables in the data set by using the str function. So let me see here. Control enter. All right. And so this is what we have. So we have the sex. This is our target variable here. We have their writing hand and their non-writing hand. Um, w H N D. Uh, their other hand, I guess. I'm not. I had to look up what these variables mean. Uh, but there are several problems here. So number one, uh, people's hands tend to be the same size. So I can tell you already that there's going to be a high correlation between WR.HND and WR and NW HND. Okay, so we're going to have to remove one of these because generally people have the same size hands. W.HND is um, a factor variable. That's what it is. So whether they write with their left hand or their right hand. Um, the thing is that if we want to do some cross validation, we would have to convert all this information from factors to dummy variables. Again, this is not a major problem, but our goal here is not to do extensive uh, data uh, data preparation, data mugging, if you will. We just want to run the models and learn how to to use the algorithms inside R. So we're going to leave out all these factor variables just for simplicity. You probably would not do that in a real setting. Um, Height is going to be okay, and of course, age is going to be fine as well. So those are the variables. But the factor variables, we're going to let those go, and we're going to focus on only the um, the continuous variables that are not highly correlated with each other. So that's what's happening there. So having said that, it explains the behavior in my code here from lines 6 all the way down to line 12, where we're just removing these variables we're not going to use. So WR. The H and D is gone. Clapping, which hand they clap with? W H and D is gone. Full exercise. Whether they smoke or not, these are all factor variables. And then the last thing we're going to do is N A dot omit because there are some missing values in the data set, and we want to remove those because many algorithms have issues with missing data. All right, so we just about cleaned that up, and we can now take a peek at what is available and what's left in the data set. So here we go. Take a look at the core plot. This is what we have. And so let me go ahead and zoom in on this for you. This is what we have here. You can see here that the correlations are very weak. Uh, we have one strong correlation between uh, non-writing hand and height at 0.6, but that's not a major concern. And then, of course, there's no problem with age. So it appears that there's no major problem with uh, no major problems with uh, what do you call it? No major problems with the um, correlations here. And then we do correlation by PC. All right. And so now you've seen this code here below. We're just going to divide our data set into the train and the test sets. That's it. Set the C first to make sure we can reproduce our results. I've already explained this several times, so I don't see any reason to explain it again. And our data is all set. So we're basically going to use non-writing hand, pulse, height, and age to try to predict somebody's gender, whether it's male or female in this particular context. So not much else left to say here for this video. Again, there is so much more we could do with data preparation, but every, everybody who does uh, data science or machine learning stuff kind of has their own little style for how to do that. And so you know, to show you just the one way, there is no one single way for that. So that's why we're focusing on the simplicity of using the algorithm. So in this video, all we did was set up our data. We had to remove some variables for practical reasons. 
the f active variables, we remove the missing values using the na.omit function in line 13. And we do the visualization to get an idea of if there's any concerns with correlations. And for right now, for our purposes, it seems like our model is good to go. And then lastly, we just did our train and test split. We've used this code several times before, but we just had to adjust it for this particular context. So I hope this was useful for you. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. This is simpler using machine learning algorithms in R. Take care.